Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about acid halides and carbon nucleophiles. Acid halides can react with carbon nucleophiles, so things that are, I have R minus. Um, so these are things that act like, you know, carbon, carbon ions uh, to form ketones initially. And then depending on the nature of the nucleophile, ketones can be, react further with carbon nucleophiles to form alcohols. We're going to start with the uh, types of nucleophiles that you've probably encountered before, which are Grignard reagents. In the Grignard reagent case, uh, our carbon nucleophile is RMG, you know, R of magnesium halide. And if you've already learned about the Grignard reagents, which most people have by this point, you know that Grignard reagents are, you know, also react with ketones to make primary, to make tertiary alcohols. So to put this in the, the terminology I introduced in the last video, ketones are less reactive than acid chlorides, but Grignard reagents are less selective. And since Grignard reagents aren't very selective, they'll react with most carbonyl electrophiles, even ones that are less reactive. And so in this case, it's very hard to stop at the aldehyde or stop at the ketone. I mean, even though the ketone is less reactive than the acid chloride. And I'm just going to quickly review the uh, nucleophilic substitution part of this mechanism. I've covered the addition of Grignard reagents to aldehydes and ketones in a previous video uh, on the synthesis of alcohol, so you can go look that up. Um, but right now, I have this nucleophilic acyl substitution with my carbon nucleophile. This mechanism is going to follow the basic strong nucleophile version where you form our, you know, chloride leaving group, oxygen. We're going to need our R nucleophile and a negative charge. And then we have loss of leaving group. And that yields us the ketone and the ketone it continues to react further. So if we had a less reactive carbon nucleophile, you know, would the reaction be more selective? And by that, I mean, will it stop at the ketone? And the answer is yes. There is such a carbon nucleophile out there, and they are the so-called Gilman reagents, which are lithium dialkyl cuprates. And so what you have, and and they can actually be aryl and they don't have to be alkyl, but they're diorganocuprates. So if you have some organic halide that you react with lithium metal, you get a reaction very similar to the formation of a Grignard reagent in that you... place the halogen with a lithium. And these lithium reagents uh, behave a lot like Grignard reagents. They're not perfectly identical. They behave a lot like Grignard reagents. Then you could take two of these 
lithium reagents and react them with a copper one salt, uh, often uh, copper iodide, though you can, you can have bromide and chloride, um, what you would get is this dialkyl cuprate. It won't let me put the negative charge where I want it to. So let's put Cu R two anion. So the, the, the formal negative charge is actually on the copper, but copper is less electronegative than carbon. So the electron density is actually on the, the carbon. And because it was copper one, we have two things bonded to it. It's an anion, lithium is a cation. So we have this really interesting lithium dialkyl cuprates. And these cuprate reagents are what we refer to when you hear somebody talk about Gilman reagents. But some people might just refer to them as cuprate reagents. Um, and that's fine too, right? Copper is less electronegative than carbon, but more electronegative than magnesium. So you can get substitution, or you can get reaction of, say, of our acid chloride with a lithium dialkyl cuprate. And I'm just going to condense it all down there. And because lithium dialkyl cuprates are more selective, less reactive, this reaction stops at the ketone. It stops at the ketone, and it stops at the ketone because the, the cuprates or, Grin, or Gilman reagents are more selective it means they are less reactive. Than Grignard reagents. And the ketone is less reactive than the acid chloride. So we can get uh, a reaction that stops at the The reaction that stops at the ketone. So I, I wanted to go up here and make this note about electronegativity, right? Carbon is more electronegative than copper, which is more electronegative than magnesium. So the carbon-copper bond is a little bit more covalent than the carbon-magnesium bond, which is why the cuprate reagents and other organocopper reagents are sort of not as strongly basic and they're not as, uh, they're more selective nucleophiles than the Grignard reagents. So here we have a way to stop the ketone. Right? In the next video, we'll move on to uh, anhydrides, which because anhydrides have similar reactivity to aldehydes and ketones, it's pretty hard to, to get them to stop at aldehydes and ketones. Thank you for watching.